How did the Berlin Wall's fall affect the Cold War's end? The fall of the Berlin Wall had a significant impact on the end of the Cold War. To understand its historical context, we need to trace the major events leading up to this pivotal moment. Yalta Conference, February 1945 The Leaders of the Allied Powers, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin met to discuss the post-war reorganization of Europe. They agreed to divide Germany into four occupation zones, with the Soviet Union controlling the eastern part, including Berlin. Post-war division, after World War II, tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union began to rise, leading to the onset of the Cold War. In 1949, the Federal Republic of Germany West Germany was formed, while the German Democratic Republic East Germany was established in 1949 as a Soviet satellite state. Berlin Blockade, 1948-1949 In response to West Germany's integration into the Western Bloc, the Soviet Union blockaded West Berlin in an attempt to force the Allies out. The Berlin Airlift was organized by the United States and its allies, providing crucial supplies to the city for over a year. This event heightened tensions between the two sides. Construction of the Berlin Wall, 1961 As a result of increasing tensions and a large number of East Germans fleeing to the West, the East German government, with Soviet support, built the Berlin Wall to physically divide East and West Berlin. This wall became a symbol of the divided Cold War world. Détente, 1960s to 1970s In the late 1960s, a period of thawing tensions known as détente began. It included various negotiations, such as the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks, SALT, aimed at reducing the risk of nuclear war between the United States and the Soviet Union. Soviet leadership changes. In the 1980s, new leadership emerged in the Soviet Union with Mikhail Gorbachev becoming General Secretary of the Communist Party in 1985. His policies of glasnost, openness, and perestroika restructuring aimed to reform the Soviet Union's political and economic systems. Eastern European revolutions, inspired by Gorbachev's reforms, Eastern European countries started to demand greater political freedoms. In 1989, a wave of peaceful revolutions swept through Eastern Europe, leading to the fall of communist governments in countries such as Poland, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, and Romania. Mass protests in East Germany In East Germany, a growing number of citizens were dissatisfied with the repressive regime and the poor economic conditions. Mass protests and calls for political reforms became increasingly common in 1989. Opening of the Berlin Wall, November 9, 1989 Due to a series of miscommunications and a lack of clear orders from the East German government, the border crossings between East and West Berlin were opened. Thousands of East Germans flooded into the West, and people from both sides of the wall began tearing it down, symbolizing the end of the division. German reunification, 1990 Following the fall of the Berlin Wall, negotiations began to reunify East and West Germany. On October 3, 1990, Germany was officially reunified, marking the end of the Cold War division in the country. The fall of the Berlin Wall represented a turning point in the Cold War, as it symbolized the collapse of Soviet control in Eastern Europe and the gradual end of the division between the capitalist West and the communist East. It paved the way for further political changes, leading to the ultimate dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991 and the end of the Cold War. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.